Sharks continue to grace La Jolla shores, and while they are different species than the three zebra sharks caught mating on camera in the South Pacific, this rare footage gives researchers valuable insights into shark mating behavior that could apply to our local leopard sharks, too. For the first time ever, researchers captured a trio of endangered zebra sharks mating in the wild in the South Pacific, and it's captivating scientists worldwide. Most of what we know about shark mating comes from examples like this. The video captured by Australian researchers and published in the Journal of Ethology shows two males gripping each side of a female's pectoral fence. So we refer to that as morsels. More males are always trying to mate with a female. We spoke to Dr. Chris Lowe, who directs the shark lab at Cal State Long Beach. He says witnessing shark mating is extraordinarily rare. He's seen it with nurse sharks, but never zebras or leopards. He says sharks have multiple paternity reproduction, where one litter can have several fathers. While genetics from live births prove this happens, capturing mating on video is extremely uncommon. Yeah, this particular female has a male on each pectoral fin. The question will be, who will get to mate with her first? And I think these are the interesting things we can learn in these cool video captures. Following the encounter, the female swam away while exhausted males lay motionless on the sea floor. Does everybody get a chance or does female say no to this one male? So the only way we'll find out are from video recordings like this. Lowe says female sharks can store sperm from multiple males, a survival strategy that makes biological sense. What people have to remember is that mating in sharks is kind of a rigorous activity, right? Males actually have to bite onto the females, and it can cause some damage. So as a result, females may not want to mate every year. These zebra sharks may look similar to La Jolla's leopard sharks, but they are different species, though Lowe expects similar behavior locally. And I'm sure it's very similar to what we see in this video because they do group together during mating season, which means the likelihood of multiple paternities is quite high. Lowe hopes that this rare footage will inspire divers and scientists to contribute to shark research. We're always eager to learn more. In La Jolla Shores, Abby Black, CBS 8.